Hey, good morning guys. Well, I've had some difficulty with this switch here where it suddenly loses contact and I'm not able to lock and unlock the doors. So I'm going to take it apart. Now, I've partially disassembled it already. Uh, to get this out, you pry up here and then push and pull out. You can see there's a little lock tab there and then a couple of metal tabs here that hook on, on the back. Now, today the uh, repair is going to be on this particular device and so I'm going to do these two Torx uh, bolts. These are T20 Torx. We'll undo those and then this lifts up and out and then we'll get to the plastic connectors next. To do the second part of this, I'm going to have to get this connector off. Um, to do that, I'm going to you squeeze this here in, you squeeze it in, and then um, at the same time I take a little screwdriver and then pry this up. And then squeezing in, prying up will uh, uh, get that connector off. Alright, now let me show you how this switch is unhooked. Uh, sure enough, you, you press in these little tabs all the way along and then pry upward. But um, just by doing that, you're not going to get anywhere. And the reason is you need to get these buttons off. And they sit on like this. Now the way they come off, they're hooked on with two little hooks. One here, a female side here, and then a female side here. And they um, are pressed in by these little hooks here. One there, and one there. And so you slide in a little screwdriver, pry out, and then lift up. And then you get the two sides off, and then, and then that'll come apart easily. Here, we'll do it on this one. To get this apart, you need to take each of them off. Hopefully it doesn't go flying on you. All right, now this one here is a little different. The two hooks are on the outer edges. Here's one. You can see that hook going pointing inside and this other one. And so to get this one off, you pry here and it comes up and over and then pops the other one off like so. Here's the reciprocal hooks there, the mating hooks right there and there. Now to get these last ones in because this is in the way I found this little dental hook to work better. You just slide this in underneath here. And pry it out like that. And then the same on the other side. So I've laid them out now on the bench in the same orientation that they were so I don't get these mixed up. Now let's take these apart. Now look at all that dust. So I'm going to get some canned air and blow this dust out of the way. It may be just cleaning up the dust may be all I need to do rather than anything more complicated. Okay, so I've used compressed air and um, I've cleaned this whole circuit uh, as carefully as I can. Okay, now I just put it back on the vehicle and in fact my uh, lock unlock mechanism which is uh, this one here is now working correctly and so just with cleaning the dust off I'm back to um, it working better and so I'm just going to put it back onto the device without tearing it down any further and uh, see how it uh, see how it works it may be that the switch in the bottom there has got dirty contacts but at this point it ain't broken so I'm not going to fix it any further Okay, now when you put these things back, um, these metal tabs might come off and be left in this hole here, and so you need to pull it out with a set of pliers and reposition it the way it's supposed to be before you put it back in. Okay, well let's try it out. And it works normally. Now you notice that it won't lock when the door is open, and that's a feature designed to remind the driver that not all the doors are shut when you're locking it, so it's a normal feature. Um, a couple of things about this repair that um, I'd do differently if I had to do it again. The first is that I would definitely remove the negative battery cable. As it turned out, it didn't remove the negative battery cable in this situation. And partway through the repair, when I undid the, did the connector to this part, suddenly the car horn started beeping. And uh, clearly the security system is tied into the electronics of this as a, an anti-theft feature. And so um, I just put the key in the ignition and started the car and the beeping stopped. But to prevent that from happening in the future, just uh, unhook the negative cable. And then the second thing is that uh, there is some sensitive microelectronics in here, and so um, to do things properly, you should use an anti-static um, wristband to, to prevent uh, discharge of static electricity. 
Say, so, if this video helped you out and you want to see more of them, then hit like or subscribe or leave a comment. I'd love to hear what those say. Thanks for watching.